We present Unbiased 4D, Monocular 4D Reconstruction with a Neural Deformation Model, a new approach for unbiased non-rigid 3D reconstruction of deformable objects from monocular RGB image sequences that is inspired by recent progress in volumetric scene representations. We test our approach on a real sequence with a deforming cactus toy. Unbiased 4D achieves an accurate overlay onto the input view and also results in a plausible and temporally consistent side view. Even if the cactus is deforming more intensely, our method can still handle the large deformations due to our novel scene flow loss. Which is again validated on this scene where the human is translating along a large baseline while moving his arms. On the right, we visualize the coarse shape prior, or geometric proxy, provided to the proposed scene flow loss. We validate that our method can accept even coarser geometric proxies by using only a 12 vertex skeleton for this real world scene featuring large deformations. On the third party synthetic Lego scene, both static and deforming parts of the object are faithfully captured by our approach. Our method achieves a high 3D reconstruction accuracy even in challenging monocular scenarios. Here we compare our unbiased SDF scene representation with a coordinate based volume density approach, followed by surface extraction with marching cubes. Our representation works better for dynamic areas which cannot be reconstructed at all by the implicit volume-based method. Moreover, our 3D reconstruction contains less overall noise. Next, we compare unbiased 4D to the competing monocular non-rigid 3D reconstruction methods of different classes. Direct Dense Deformable, or DDD, is a template-based monocular surface tracking method. Neural NRSFM is a non-rigid structure from motion approach, taking as input dense 2D flow fields. Finally, Laser is a learning-based 3D mesh reconstruction approach that deforms a sphere to match image observations and detects 3D joints of the observed articulated structure. Note that our method is the only one that can thoroughly reconstruct the deforming object, while others perform poorly. The observed qualitative improvement is confirmed by a quantitative study reported in the paper. We also validate our design choices in a comprehensive ablative study. We notice that disabling the individual loss terms in our energy function consistently leads to worse results in all tested cases compared to the full model. Finally, we show the colored result for the LEGO sequence. Note that colors as well as geometry look plausible, even in the highly ill-posed monocular problem. We investigate the application of geometry synthesis by providing novel latent codes to our bending network. Note the plausibility of the synthesized geometry even when the provided latent code exceeds the convex hull of observed states. Thank you for watching.